welcome to science, uh, 7th class science class today i am going to explain about the food components okay what are the food components present in the food for that we have uh, first of all going to the lesson i want to say ask you something why we need food what is the purpose we are e eating food okay i think you all know about that for getting energy we, we require food uh, same type of food items we won't eat we eat different types of food items in that different types of food components are present for that i will show you something here i brought some covers of the food items here this is amul milk here back side of that they are given some one table is given there the table is that uh, the table is uh, indicate how much quantity which food components are present in that carbohydrates proteins i will show you in the milk powder also here in the milk packet energy proteins carbohydrates okay vitamins fats like that they are given by oil packet here all pa all packet also you can see energy carbohydrates zero uh, sugar zero and uh, proteins are zero and uh, mono uh, mono unsaturated like that here bambino packet in this bambino packet they are given here back side uh, proteins are 10.5 grams uh, carbohydrates 17.5 grams uh, sugars 2 grams like that they are in each and every food item it contains some amount of food components why uh, why we require this food component uh, so i will show, explain you about the food components proteins starch sugar vitamins fat and carbohydrates sorry these are the carbohydrates sugars are nothing but the carbohydrates now for showing this food components are present in in our food i have some experiment uh, for sugar uh, carbohydrates are present in the sugar for that i will show you one experiment come here for that we have to take some iodine this is the wheat flour i brought wheat flour here we should pour some uh, wheat in this and after that some water add water some water in it dilute it wheat contain carbohydrates sugar stir it well after dissolving this carbohydrates in the water we should add iodine one or two drops of iodine sorry you can see here white color precipitate is turning into the blue black color blue black color it indicates starch is present carbohydrates are present in the wheat flour this test is for the starch we can conclude this starch is pre present in the uh, wheat and uh, fats are present in the fats next one is fats how we know fats are present in the Uh, food component. For that, we should take some oil and uh, pay, uh, and place that oil on the paper. If it is looks translucent, translucent, we can conclude that if it is translucent, we can conclude that fats are present in the uh, uh, fats are present in the uh, that food component and uh, and proteins. Proteins are mainly pres present in the for uh, meat egg uh, in that uh, proteins are present for pro uh, for that uh, protein test uh, for that also we have one experiment uh, for that we require carbon uh, copper sulf uh, copper sulfate uh, and sodium hydroxide if we, with this we have to uh, make uh, some solution with this two two components we require for the 
doing protein test. Now here, now here this is copper sulphate. We took some copper sulphate crystals in this test tube. After that, we should add some amount of water in this. Okay. After that, thoroughly stir it, or else you can do like this. If you stir with the any uh, iron item, this test tube will be uh, broke. Breaks. Now here it is melting. We can uh, see the color changing, blue color. After that, this is sodium hydroxide solution. I took. Uh, again, we have to take this sodium hydroxide uh, solution in other test tube. Drops of sodium hydroxide. Uh, some amount of uh, copper sulphate solution after that mix it well ok it changes color after that we are doing protein test for that we require meat or milk or egg something I took some milk here we should pour some milk in this test tube it turns into the purple color okay this if it is turns into the purple color this indicates in the milk proteins are present with the with this experiment we conclude that proteins are present in this uh, milk okay now here i shown you uh, i just now showed you carbohydrates carbohydrates present uh, uh, in uh, wheat flour for that i show the experiment after that uh, protein for, uh, for protein milk is uh, in milk proteins are present for that also i showed the experiment the, uh, for uh, fat we need some oil we should pour the uh, uh, we should paste the oil on the paper and after that if you see that paper it will look translucent we, uh, with this uh, we conclude fats are present in the oil we, uh, uh, we need more amount of proteins carbohydrates in uh, uh, for our body along with the vitamins fats and some minerals also we need for our body growth and uh, our metabolic activities we require these uh, along with this we need so uh, we need water we drink water why we drink water uh, what is the need of water for this for that i have uh, uh, we have one experiment we should take one uh, sponge and a pipe if you place the uh, sponge in that pipe can sponge move into that pipe it cannot move for, for, uh, uh, after that we should remove that sponge from the pipe uh, place that uh, take that sponge and keep it in the water when it absorbs the water again put that sponge into the pipe it is easily move from the pipe like that if we eat if we drink if while we are eating food if we drink water what happened that food will move easily okay for that purpose we need uh, water in water that's why we should drink plenty of water for dry uh, digestive tract movements of digestive tract digestion this purpose we need uh, we need water okay along with that Water is essential for our, okay. Now, roughages. Roughages are dietary fibers. Why we need this roughages and dietary fiber? These roughages help us to in the constipation easy bowels movement we require this roughages along with these food components we required roughages and water roughages uh, water is required for the digestive tract uh, digestive system and uh, easy movement in the digestive tract and these roughages are used in the constipation bowels movement easy bowels movement we need roughages roughages are present in the uh, vegetable uh, uh, ridge guard banana some fruits and vegetable these roughages are present this is about your first lesson food